You have no culture, no religion, no form of governance, no behavior. If nothing is better than anything else, then how are they to explain success? To the modern liberal, a nation that succeeds serves as proof positive that somehow an injustice has been done. Right? A person that fails, a business that fails, anything that fails, acts as proof positive that the, the failure must somehow have been victimized. Hey, if you have a big business and you didn't build it, then it's not fair that you have it, and it's not fair that the, that the guy who doesn't have it doesn't have it. If America isn't special, then how is it that we've become so prosperous? Well, it's unjust that we're prosperous, and given how prosperous we are, the most prosperous nation in all of human history, then it is a great injustice that America is prosperous. So no, they really don't think Barack Obama was asked, do you believe in American exceptionalism? He gave a very clever, very politic answer in which he said yes, but made very clear he meant no. What he said was, yes, just as I'm sure the Brits believe in British exceptionalism and the Greeks believe in Greek exceptionalism. In other words, whatever feelings of exceptionalism he has for America, it's nothing other than the bigotries that he was born here or that he lives here. If he lived in Greece, he would think Greece was exceptional. But now, how does Barack Obama explain America's prosperity? Obviously, if we're not special, it's unjust. And given that we are the most prosperous nation in human history, we must be the part of the greatest injustice of all time. That's what he believes in. That we are yes. the greatest injustice of all time. 